So me and Dan, uh, we met in third grade, and um, we pretty much just have been playing music together ever since then. And um, and then like almost four years ago, it's four years ago yeah, now. Yeah, four years. Uh, we Long needed time. a singer, and we uh, we met Chrissy through uh, a mutual friend of ours, and then it's just you know history from there. Uh, well, this is when we first like got on YouTube. That was the first. Yeah. I would say like you know like whoa, people are like noticing us. Yeah. Like, people like this. There's like big numbers on my computer screen in front of me. Like, <laughs> so one day the. Just jump from zero to like yeah. Well, it was kind of just happened instantly because our first like our first thing that we did on YouTube was a cover with um, another like a larger YouTube artist. So as soon as we did that cover, like, but even for for that artist, that cover did better than most of his other his other ones. Um, it's actually still the top the top viewed video on his channel. So it's crazy because like it was our first time ever doing anything like that, and it just like blew up right away. I would say being genuine is the most important thing and bringing something new to the table uh, because it's really easy to emulate other artists, especially since there are so many great ones out there already, which is like, it's fine. It's fine to, you know, know what you like and know what you don't like and take bits and pieces of things that you like. It's like, draw inspiration. yeah, it's okay to draw inspiration from, you know, other artists, but you have to have something that makes it you, that makes it, because if it already exists, then people are going to look elsewhere for it, you know? But if there's something that only you can offer, then people are gonna only look to you for that. No. That's probably the one thing we don't dabble in. I listen to it a little teeny tiny bit. There's probably vocals though, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, listen like, to it. If it is, yeah. it's like, you know, like, I guess you but like I Zed and stuff like that. Kind yeah, of like, I like Zed. That's, I love that's like Zed. the furthest I would say you probably any of us. I remember there. like going to school though when I was in college and I'd like walk down one of the halls in the dorm and someone would just have their door open and be just listening to like this EDM music, no vocals, no anything, like while listening their, like while doing their homework and it sounded like it was like a rave going on in their room. I, I was like, how do you just listen like to that? To, I like to joke around if I, if I hear like an EDM song like in a venue or something, I'm just like, there's no vocals, just this song saved my life. <laughs> Those lyrics saved my life. <laughs> it was eight yeah. words over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you save me now? When the ground drops out, I get lost in the ground.